All right, we've moved to the nation's silo to demonstrate the difference between 2.4 gigahertz and 5.8 gigahertz. Here's Keith to tell you a little bit more. With 2.4 gigahertz, it's going to send the signal out further, but with 5.8 gigahertz, it's going to send the signal out on a shorter frequency path. Therefore, you're going to get less range from 5.8 than you would out of 2.4. But what else will you get out of 2.4 that you won't get out of 5.8, Ken? Penetration. Ladies. So I think what we need to do is click on this. Yeah, got to go into the main. And we got to go into transmission. All right, so right now it's on dual band and you can see the little freaking dipty doos down there. You see the dipty doos? Now recently it was discovered that the dual band wasn't switching properly between 2.4 gigahertz and 5.8 gigahertz, but DJI is now taking care of that through a firmware update. And how high is this building? Well, last time we flew on it, it was 120 feet. Well, I'm gonna put it on 300 feet just to be safe for the return to home and then we're going to go to transmission we're going to leave it right here and we're going to take off before this thing overheats all right starting with dual band I'm going to put the building in between us and she gone right there should be good so there's an entire building with cement and iron and everything between us. Switching back over to the other screen. Solid RC, that's solid. Now let's switch to 2.4. Hmm, hmm. I switched it while we're behind the building, so coming back out, it should improve. I can see us again. Let's switch over to 5.8. Okay, still pretty good. Now we're gonna move further away because a lot of you are saying, well, you're right there in the building. Correct, we were. I'm going way down here. Way down there. I'm going way down. All right, so I'm a little further away. We're gonna take off and see if it makes any difference. All right, I'm in position here. Gonna go over to transmission. We'll do dual band first and see what it does. All right. Oh, yeah, I can see it breaking up. Breaking up, how are you? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you can see it, it went down quite a bit in the signal strength. All right, coming back out. Ooh, weak signal, just antennas. Let's do 2.4. All right, heading back. There we go. Oh yeah. Back behind the building. Yeah, I'm getting some stuttering on the video. Let's go to transmission and see what it's doing there. This is really uh, impressive though, what it's doing with the frequencies. It's trying. Now, <laughs> do I dare? Well, we started this. Might as well finish it. Yeah. Switch to 5.8. All right, I'm on 5.8. And here we go. I imagine I'm going to lose it. And it's going to have to go over the building and return to me. Looking good. Yep. All right. I'm going to put a little bit of trees in between. Yeah, I've got... Oh, it's crapping. It's crapping. It's crapping. Okay, I'd, I'd hold there. Yep. I can... I don't have any control. I have so... no control. Okay. I think it's returning to home. We're going up. And we've got the uh, tourist helicopter, which is nowhere near. Okay, you're going up now. Yeah. Let's we're good. On return to home. Yeah, it's returning to home. Okay, we're clear of the helicopter. All right, I'm going to put it back in dual band. Uh, indeed, 2.4 is the one you want for the penetration, for sure. I wouldn't worry about the range stuff on the Mini 3. Some people have had some bad luck with it but don't let those sour apples ruin the punch because this is a really fantastic drone it's better than the mini 2 yes it absolutely is if you've been wavering on the fence ah i've seen some range problems and i just don't know about it that's a little pricey uh 
I think it's worth it, especially if you get this controller with it. 5.8 is not going to get you around buildings, so you're better to be in 2.4 if you're flying in a city or urban area. So just leave it on 2.4 rather than dual band. I would actually do dual band because dual band is going to switch you between the two signals yeah. as you need them. Once again, the Mini 3 is a champ. There's a link in the description. Go get you one. Hell, go get you two. We then headed to downtown Nashville where there's plenty of radio frequency pollution. There's probably hundreds of office internet routers littering this airspace with 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz signals. So we wanted to see if the Mighty Mini 3 could make it to the top of the tallest building in the state, the AT&T or BAT building. This beautiful skyscraper is 617 feet tall and was built in 1991. I've flown to the top with larger drones, but because of the unpredictable winds, I've never felt comfortable doing it with a sub 250 gram drone. Even if winds are calm at street level, they become more intense the higher you go. In a city environment such as this, the closer you fly to a building, the more chance there is of a rogue updraft taking you out. Remember, if you are a Part 107 holder and filming for your job, you may fly up to 400 feet above and 400 feet away from your subject. Check the video link in the description for more information. Airspace class does take precedent over this allowance, so double check before you attempt a flight this high. Also, Nashville has many tourist and hospital helicopters, so I always make sure to hug the building as no aircraft will fly as close as I can. One of the most surprising things about the Mini 3 is its stability. And you can see how locked in it is when I zoom in to where the spire in the foreground intersects with the bridge in the background. So impressive. Now as I fly through the ears of the Bat Building, remember, if you're going to do this, never do an orbit around a skyscraper. Even if you're able to do it at ground level, the higher you go, the more building you place between you and the controller. You just don't want to chance it. In the end, the Mini 3 was able to navigate through the sea of Rando RF and land safely back in my hand. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I appreciate it. And that's no bull. <laughs> All right, so where does it show the bands? Right here. Right here next to the three dots, you'll see 2.4. We're currently sending out a signal in 2.4 gigahertz. Is that right? Nope. No. <laughs> no, it's 24 satellites. Oh, that's satellites. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess just our Street. But you said it with such I did, didn't I? It, commitment. It, it, like it I would have believed positive. it. It did sound believable. <laughs> you, know. you have gravitas. Oh, who's that handsome guy? Well, am I handsome enough for a TikTok? How do you go into TikTok mode? TikTok? Oh, there we go. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm handsome enough for TikTok. Oh, yeah. Is that vertical video, Ken? It is. But you don't like vertical I video. I do not. I'm, I think I'm starting to get a rash. And you can't even see Keith. Let me put it back. There, now you're in the picture. I oh, am. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, now we broke the camera. Yeah, I'm gonna put it back. Yeah, that's better. <laughs>